Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. Don't waste another minute on your crying. We're nowhere near the end. We're nowhere near the best. best is ready to begin. Oh, as long as we got each other, we got the world spinning light in our hands, baby. You and me, we gotta be the luckiest dreamers. All the chemical reactions that occur within the cell are collectively called its metabolism. Metabolism manages all cell functions and the usage of various materials by the cell. Several factors that, occur, that affect cellular metabolism, including enzyme catalysts, various energy pathways, laws of thermodynamics, and pH. <laughs> Let's first take a look at how enzymes affect metabolism. Enzymes in the cell serve as catalysts, substances that can increase a reaction rate without being used in the reaction themselves. Enzymes are, <laughs> you guessed it, proteins that act as catalysts in certain situations. Catalysts function by reducing the activation energy of a reaction, enabling more reactants to react, and increasing the rate of the overall process. The area of the reaction is known as the substrate. The enzyme interacts with the substrate at the active site, forming an enzyme-substrate complex. After the reaction has occurred, the substrate is converted into the products of the reaction. However, enzymes are affected by several factors inside the cell. Every enzyme has an optimal temperature. As the actual temperature moves away from it, the functionality of the enzyme decreases. Similarly, the enzyme has a pH range at which it can attain optimal performance. Straining out of these ranges causes the enzyme to change shape and eventually lose function altogether. Some enzymes also need a little help. This comes in the form of non-proteins such as zinc, iron, and copper. These are called cofactors. Similarly, some compounds interfere with enzyme function. Competitive inhibitors are substances that are very similar to the enzyme function by binding to said enzyme and changing its shape and thus its capability to interact with the active cell. The cell can regulate enzyme function to the use of feedback and inhibition, which turns off the enzymatic pathway when it senses a loss of efficiency. Let's talk about energy pathways. These are divided into two types, catabolic pathways to convert large molecules into smaller ones. Every time you digest food, a catabolic pathway has been used to convert your food into usable nutrients. On the other hand, anabolic pathways use energy to convert smaller molecules into larger, more complicated ones. These pathways enable for the formation of muscle mass in response to working out in the gym. of metabolism is the concept of energy transfer. Yeah, Marcus, <laughs> energy yes. is simply the capacity to do work. Now, we're concerned primarily with chemical energy found in the cell and how it's converted into other forms of energy to perform cellular tasks. Thermodynamics is the study of these energy transformations. The first law of thermodynamics tells us that energy is constant and is not created or destroyed in chemical reactions. The second law of thermodynamics states that reactions increase the randomness or entropy of the universe. Free energy is the amount of energy the system can use to perform work when the temperature of the system is uniform. An exergonic reaction occurs spontaneously and releases free energy into the system. 
Reaction spontaneity refers to the ability of the reaction to occur without energy input from an outside source. The endo endergonic reaction requires energy to, pro to proceed and takes from free energy from the system. The combination of these two reactions types is largely what enables the cell to manage their energy resources and do work. This is called energy coupling. In this process, an exergonic reaction is used to power an endergonic reaction. ATP is an example of this when a phosphate is released from it by an exergonic reaction to perform endergonic work in the cell. Free energy is the amount of energy the system can use to perform work when the temperature of the system is uniform. An, an exergonic reaction occurs spontaneously and releases free energy into the system. Reaction spontaneously refers to the ability of the reaction. <laughs> yeah. Retake, retake. Retake. Seconds. Like that time Kyle punched me in the face. Yeah. Stop!